Hey. It's been a while. It's been since a, like a week. My god, this last week was actually like the longest week of my life. I feel like it's been like a month. Sometimes you have to chill now because... <laughs> yeah, hi. Sorry for streaming two hours late. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know if the music's too loud or too soft. I don't know. I always fuck up my settings, so there's that. I also feel nauseous as hell. And so I'm drinking ginger tea, but like it... I don't think I'm very good at making tea. Because I just like put the ginger root in it and hoped it would work and it hasn't. <gasps> you can't hear music at all? Okay. How about now? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Grat. Is it loud or is it like a good level? I was going to say temperature. That's where my brain is today. It's a good temperature. Is this a good temperature music? <laughs> You're right. But like it's supposed to, it's supposed to percolate. I don't know if I use that word. Well, percolate through the water though, and then do the ginger thing where it makes me feel not. What is this shiny thing in front of my face? You see that? I have a shiny. What the fuck? Anyway. Anyway. But is it like. It could be 40% quieter? How's that? If I do. Wait a second. Okay, I no longer see the shiny either. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I saw it though. Did I change it at all or not really? <laughs> it's a good time for music. I'm, I'm glad. But seriously, I, I don't want it to be too loud, so. I'm more important than the music, so. How have y'all been? Great. <sighs> so I have to say. There was this one night last week where I was like, damn, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm going to read a book. And then, and then it hit like 1 a.m. It wasn't even that good of a book. And I was like, what if I kept reading until 2? And at 2, I was like, what if I kept reading until 3? And then I hit 5 a.m. And I was like, fuck it. Who needs sleep? And so I didn't sleep at all that night. And I was like, how weird. It was like this, like, like, I, was it, like, it, like haze like i was like like you're like slightly like dissociated from your body and like how interesting that that person is doing that what is fatigue <laughs> is it really i'm sorry to hear that token toker i finished the book though it took me 12 hours yeah would i recommend that book nah i wouldn't <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It wasn't like a like I was staying up late because it was so good. I was just I was just Hopefully, yeah. Look, so many of us have terrible sleep habits. Ooh. And then, and then on Saturday night, I stayed up till 5 a.m. And I looked at the time and I was like, what the fuck? And then I went to bed. But then I slept literally all of Sunday. Like, I, I don't know what day I said first. It was Saturday. But I slept until like 6 p.m. on Sunday. I'm just going to blame on depression, honestly. I've been so depressed lately. And there's no good reason why. Brains. Hey, it is. As long as the lights are dim when you're fucking asleep. Yeah, I have the little twinkle lights in my room, so that's what I was using. It's, it's okay to ju be just. Sometimes you're totally. <laughs> 
see, like, oversleeping is cool until you're like, wow. I haven't done anything with my life. I haven't done anything with my life in the last week. Like, I haven't done, like, any coding, basically. I have a lot of people who have emailed me and shit and, like, messaged me. And I just didn't ever say anything. And, like, I was supposed to get a wireframe to someone that I might be able to freelance for last Monday. Yeah, so here we are next Monday. I haven't touched that at all. <sighs> yeah. Time to sit down and bang out some code on your 100 hours project, but then you just end up tinkering with some VS setting on VS Code for three hours. Interesting. I don't think I mess with VS Code that much. So it was pure lethargy. Lethargy? Lethargy. For you yesterday, you used to lay down in the living room for a nap, and then got up and laid in bed for a nap. Oh, I feel that. How would I suggest starting on full stack coding? Exclamation point, 100 devs, exclamation point, discord. I and most of the people in here um, learned full stack JavaScript de web development with a free online boot camp called 100 devs. And we they go through HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then the back end they do Node, Mongo, Express, things like that, and you have like a big community, it's very helpful. So, whoa, 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 whoa. thanks for the raid. I'm just gonna call you Tech. Thank you. What were y'all doing today? Thanks for the follow and Mr. Wow, 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 wow. Exactly, exactly. We are, we are discussing being depressed. So I know, I know you came to like have a good time, but like, I'm just gonna be real here. Like I've been so depressed this last week. <laughs> right? I love the rage if. Agency with a training program. Sure. Yes, yes. But teaches you to learn how to code, so I would recommend that. Spotify APAs, oh my goodness, I can't even say words. API stuff, that's cool, that's cool. Respect. LG was all I get to say hi. Well, hi, thanks for dropping in, thanks for the raid, I appreciate you. Sorry I'm not more high energy. We are in theory doing TypeScript today, um, but I hadn't gotten there yet. We've only been live for like 10 minutes, so I was just shooting the shit. Hey, Albrin, I'm not doing that great. How are you? <laughs> Should I lie? Should I say I'm doing well? I'm doing so good. How are you? Thanks, Grat. What is my favorite programming language? So, like, I only know one. So, how about JavaScript? That's the only one I know. Using touch and chill and yours, ride or die. <laughs> so many TypeScript stands. Why do we love it all so much? We're about to find out. You know what? I've been meaning to learn TypeScript for months, and I never did it. And then we finished our project last Monday, and I didn't stream on Thursday because I was depressed. And I wasn't going to stream today, but then I did. And then I was like, what if we did TypeScript? So that's that's where I'm at with my life. And we're going to we're gonna do the TypeScript. And I'm going to figure out why everyone likes it so much, because I don't know either. So many TypeScript stands. This is JavaScript with extra errors? See, I hear it's like the opposite, but... Oh, I, there were some questions I missed earlier. Wait a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I have a job yet? Nope. Was way too depressed for the past two weeks to have that be a thing. Um... Am I you? You BS a wireframe for a client the day you're supposed to give it to him. See, and I'm a week after. That's just the thing. Like, I was supposed to deliver like a week after. Did we get the co pilot already? No, I don't know what the co pilot is. So, yeah. I love you too, and mister. No, you. I mean, I don't really have a lot of feeling in my body as a whole, but I do love you. <laughs> and all of you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you, and me, maybe, I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know. Rascal likes TypeScript because 
they're lit okay they're lazy and want their code to tell them there's going to be errors that are actually having to run the code nice i always wanted to learn touch but whenever you try with react you find it annoying yeah we haven't touched react yet like i did in january hey gwen thanks for follow and lost crib thanks for follow but that was a long time ago where am i pointing at you bitch that was a that was a nice bitch i always say nice bitches okay Depression setting in. I'm sorry. That sucks ass, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna take my tired heart and be like, here I go. Share my like this much energy. It's clear for me, guys. <laughs> Mainly curious about the upward morning. God be hanging out. I don't believe in God, but like maybe, maybe God, gods, maybe they be hanging. The coding gods. Spider-Man at the ceiling. Bye, Felicia! Zips upward. Man, that would be awesome. What if I... Wow. What if? Hey, Hazel, thanks for the follow. You've been doing your project using Next.js and it's currently half JS, half TypeScript. You can decide if you want to fully commit. <laughs> nah, don't. Just fuck everyone up when they want to look at your code. Don't fully commit. I can be pitched. This is okay. <laughs> Hey, Hazel. Make your own API. Token Dogger, do it. Nike, just do it. Slash Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. And this water shit makes me feel gross. Yuck. Uh -oh. You do plan on leaving Ansel sprayed within your code base. See, I like to leave funny notes when people are like, 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 have, like, a note that says, I don't know how to fucking do this shit. And then people, maybe they see later and be like, oh, you know. Maybe this is why I haven't got a job yet, though. Hey, graphics, thanks for follow. So, so, so. Doing extra work up front to avoid the extra work later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so. For those of you who came in the raid, my name is Rufio, and I'm doing the coding. Yes, I do wow, that. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. Uh, I'm not a good coder, but we do hang and vibe and be shitty coders, and maybe sometimes we're depressed, and it's like a good time, maybe. At least, it seems to be, because y'all are here, so I don't know what's up with that, but, you know, I appreciate it. So, we're doing the coding, and then we're doing the TypeScript today, and I've never done the TypeScript so uh mavi sunshine they're not here it looks like but they sent me a video like three weeks ago that was like typescript crash course and so i have that now and we're gonna watch it it'll be good so so yeah explanation that's what that is that was the explanation Sometimes actually good quarters come along and we smile and make concentratedly faces and nod like we're understanding. You're right, though. Just like. And then they're like, do you understand? You're like, <laughs> yes. Yes. And then Rufio's brain is like. I can't stare at it for any longer than my eyes got dry. So. Movie time? What movie? <laughs> well, welcome, Hazel. Learning all the things. Why TypeScript? Because people s keep saying stuff about it, and I've been meaning to. Can I get good at JavaScript? I thought I was. Also, hi. You know where to start learning TypeScript? Well, I will show you the movie we're watching. It's not a movie. But, like, I'll show you the video we're watching together. This is the... This is... This... This... This is almost as time as the time I could to chess in the terminal. My god, that sucked. But it was good, but like, oh my god. Oh my god. That's what I to say. Graduated 4Q? Fucking congrats! I'm still at 7 or 6, maybe. Someone got popcorn. <laughs> Alright, should we do the, the 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 this? Should we do that? Maybe. Maybe. 
All right. And this is just like not at all related, but I've been listening to Mercury One album by Imagine Dragons like nonstop, and that is such a good album to listen to when you're depressed. So yeah. Anyway, just that's, I just gotta promote a good band and a good album. Okay. Okay. Do you have ice cream? I have ice cream too, but I would throw up if I ate it. I think. Too much of a pacifist for Code Horse. Yes, it is. Are you agreeing with me that it's fantastic? I'm so glad. I like honestly when it first came out, I was like, eh. But then like it's been it's really been hitting recently. So, yeah. Well, high five. Good taste. Excellent taste. Okay. All right. Where's our little Chad? Okay, I found it. I don't know how loud this needs to be, so please tell me if it's loud enough, Kate. Don't love that sound. In this crash course, we're going to take a look at TypeScript. I'll teach you what it is and how you can use it in your next project. Table of names and assign a string. Oh wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! We need to do the time the timer to keep us on track. That's what that is. This is a Pomodoro timer to keep us on track and taking breaks and shit. So anyway, let's go. Then later on, you can reassign a number value to that same variable. JavaScript uses dynamic typing, which basically means that you can assign anything to anything. It's like the Wild West. So we need some rules. What did this just say to us? Wait a second, wait a second. State, adding static hey, typing. hey. Is it loud enough? <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> How are you afraid with the Black Dahlia murder? Are you talking about a band or the murder itself? Because yes. It's really quiet. See, this is why I'm asking you. Okay, you have to tell me now. So we need some rules to keep How's ourselves it? from making silly mistakes. Adding static typing helps us to catch bugs before we've even run our code. And the amazing type checking that's built into VS Great. Code helps us with this. A little By quiet using TypeScript, still? we force ourselves to write cleaner code from the start. Now, TypeScript cannot be read by the browser, and so we will need to compile it to regular JavaScript before testing or deploying, but that's really easy. <laughs> the first thing that we're going to do is set up our local Blood. environment to do this. Before we go any further, you do need to know JavaScript first. So arrow functions, objects and array methods, the DOM, classes, Hey, Ryan, what's up? If you aren't up to speed with those, be sure to check out my JavaScript beginners we're course up to speed. and JavaScript January series. The links are in Ooh, all of the places. I like that. JavaScript Let's January. take a quick look at types. Types are not exclusive to JavaScript, and they are common in other languages like C Sharp and Java. The TypeScript types that we're going to cover are strings, number, boolean, array, object. Wait, last script. Any, have you? Void. Have you? I stopped listening. All right. Um, did you do the JavaScript? Did you learn that? If not, you can still hang with us. There's nothing wrong with that. First is code. Is us competing against our code? Lol. Are we really up to speed? Bitch, no. He's been saying words for at least a minute and 40 seconds, and I don't really know what we're talking about, so. This YouTuber is Code Stacker. Code Stacker. I can share the little linky again. Linky, linky. Wait a second. Yeah, that's all right. Lost crib, that's all right. Okay. So, um, we're going to skip backwards because I already forgot everything he was saying. Just like C Sharp and Java. The TypeScript types that we're going to cover are strings, number, boolean, array, object, any, void, null and undefined, tuple, enum, and generics. Tuple. Let's get our environment set up for TypeScript. First, you'll need to install Node.js if you haven't already. I did we'll it. We'll need this for its Node package manager. And you can check if you have it by typing node v. And that will give us the version of node that's installed. I, I currently have. have version 12.18.2. <laughs> so next, let's install TypeScript globally. So we're going to say npm i for install dash g for global and then TypeScript. All right. I didn't know I was going to need to open VS Code today, but I am, I guess. Mm-mm-mm. Um, yeah, so terminal. So we say npm i g flag, right? Tag flag? Okay, TypeScript. 
I've done it. We've passed the point of no return. Passed the point of no return. I love that play. I have you. I, I have watched that so many times. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I feel still going on with this VS Code thing. <laughs> Oh, I love the pun, Ryan. All right, we've downloaded it. Next, we're going to initialize TypeScript by we're typing in TSC yeah. dash dash init. Okay, um, TSC. I'm going to move this over so I can do this. Maybe I should open, like... I don't know, it's probably fine. This is a coding challenge. What was it? TSC dash dash init. TSC dash dash init. TSconfig.json. Okay. And that creates a tsconfig.json file. Now, there are a ton of options here, such as the JavaScript version. Ew. By default, it's set to ES5. So you can also specify your root directory and output structure if you have a source folder and build folder, for instance. But that's for a more advanced setup, so we're not going to cover those features in this video. Let's create some files. We'll close this. We're going to create an index.html. Damn it, I do have to make a project. Wait a second. <laughs> Or what if I did it? Well, I already initialized it. Sorry. I know. Um, we're gonna actually go to our Othello game because fuck that shit. We're fuck it up. Fuck you. Okay. Mm. Okay. You know what? I actually don't know what the ending thing is. And app.ts. TS. See, look, this is a good thing that I didn't do it. Oh. But we, we need to do the M. What was it? Um, TSC init. TSC dash dash init. Nice. Config J. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Seth. Too bad I didn't look over. Spirited Away watch party? Okay. Story time about Spirited Away. When I was a child, I watched it. And when the parents turned into pigs, that was, like, really traumatic for me. So, like, 15 years later, I was just sitting and minding my own business. And I was like, I swear I watched something once where parents, like ate food and became pigs and it was so traumatic and I couldn't figure out where I got it from and I was like I think I just made it up in my brain and then like a year or two later I watched it I spirited away at my cousin's house and it was like a moment you know where you're like oh my god that's it you know anyway so yeah I'm is I I don't know I I'm still a little freaked out by that movie I'll be honest with you like parents turning into pigs like woof you know what i'm saying this is like a beautiful moment <gasps> so traumatic it took a while i really did like my brain like blocked it out of my my brain forever until i was older until i could handle it <laughs> did i say woof sometimes i do that a lot it's on file there are so you can build folder this video HTML and app.ts. Notice here that the extension is .ts, not .js. Since TypeScript extends JavaScript, we can write plain JavaScript in there and it will work just fine. So we could say console log and we'll say hi. And this works just fine. So let's go back to our HTML and just create a yeah, basic what is this doing? plate here. I mean, you do that. Did I cut my hairs? No, they got longer. Also, hi, welcome back, Hanu. Mia, Mia's 
I swear I know how to say their name, but Miyazaki? Miyaz Miyazaki. I don't know. But yeah. Hey, what? Did this bitch just say TS? It says JS? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they are. Does anyone smart and know the answer to that question? Oh, we were supposed to do this. Never mind. Sorry. Wait a second. I was doing the thing where I did maybe the thing. I'm gonna say HTML. Wrong. Wrong. There we go. They're not objects. TypeScript is JavaScript plus types. I swear I know the answer, but I'm not telling. <gasps> Superset. Compiles to JS. They smell like you're five. What are we doing today? We're learning TypeScript for the first time. Hey, Interplanet. We'll say TypeScript. We're watching this video. Crash course. And then let's add our script. So that's going to be script with a source, and that's going to be app.js. <gasps> Pranked. Rufio is... No, we don't have to say that. Hey. Descriptive. That's how I'm feeling today. Script. Ooh, I liked when they did the, that thing. App.js. Sneaky, sneaky, snack. Sneaky, snack. TypeScript is JavaScript grown up. JavaScript with added benefits, but at the end of the day, it compiles down to it. Kind of like SAS, sort of, with CSS. JS with the grown up benefits. You can write about TypeScript in your engineer thesis. Wow, 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 wow. That is, that is so much brain work. Sup, little freezy. <laughs> I love this sup every time. And we're going to defer that. Notice here that this is .js, not .ts. Browsers cannot read TypeScript files, so we need to compile it down to JavaScript first. So let's open up our... What is this defer stuff? I've never seen it. Defer? It's a Boolean attribute that is set to indicate to a browser that the script is meant to be executed after the document has been parsed, but before firing DOM content loaded. Hmm. You talked to the person who made TypeScript once. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talking to coding celebrities. Defer is to load after the load. Sounds, sounds like yes. Yeah, I think you're right, little Freezy. This is all foreign to me too, Lost Crypt. It's okay. I've been coding for like 20 months, maybe. And so, um, so it makes a little more sense. But just give yourself some grace, you know? It is Rufio. It's Rabbit. Some async type shit. <laughs> Don't mention a thesis wolf. Sorry, Planet. You don't have to use defer. It's a way to put the script at the top of the file to have it execute after. Over, because you put it at the bottom normally. Oh, yeah. If I'm, yeah, okay. He's just a really nice guy. You've been coding for 20 years. I still don't know what you're doing. There you go. There you go. Defer is a way to put the script tag up at the top rather than at the very end. The socks the same way. How come I never heard of this before? Anyway, thanks for the explanations. To keep my head. Hey, Firewall, what's up? Less master file. <laughs> this allows functions that target DOM elements to actually find the DOM elements. Sometimes DOM elements load after the script. Oh. Should I watch it right now? Because we're already watching a video and there's so many videos to be watching. I will have a disclaimer that most everyone here has heard already, if they were already here. But if you haven't heard, I have, like, no energy today, so. Yeah. This fit is really going to take five hours. That's what I'm saying. We don't, I don't know if we can handle more than that. Additional material? All right, all right. <laughs> For terminal. 
and we can run the command TSC, which is TypeScript Compiler. This was installed when we installed TypeScript globally. This command accepts two optional values. We can tell it specifically which file that we want it to compile. So we could say app.ts, and then optionally what we want the compiled file to be named. So we could say something else.js if we wanted. But for this instance, we only have one TypeScript file, so we're just going to run TSC. And now we can see. What were the other things? Okay. Drank. <laughs> Old girl stay up all night watching paint stay dry. <laughs> You're not wrong. You want to know how out of sorts I am? I was watching um, pitch meetings and I was like, hmm, instead of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mom is on the mood, so she's putting in the movie. <laughs> when your teachers didn't have energy, they put a video on. That's actually not what I'm doing here because this does take energy since I'm trying to do the learning and explaining and maybe. Um, but I, when I was in high school, I had a math teacher who she'd like teach stuff and then she'd be like, y'all just want to watch Grimm and, you know, we're high schoolers. We're like, fuck yeah, we do. And then we did. And I didn't learn anything that year. <laughs> Oh man. Need some green tea. Well, I'm nauseous, so I'm drinking um ginger tea. It's really just a floating ginger and some hot water. TypeScript linger well. Wow, wow, wow. We are learning TypeScript. How rude, Ryan. Tell them they're wrong. Wrong. Coding is more mixing the paint than spinning around holding the brush. I don't know what the weather is outside. I, I haven't left the house in like two days, so. You know how it goes. Sometimes I'm like, what's the weather today? And I'm like, huh, why do I care? I don't leave my house. Hey, Evan, thanks for the follow. So, anyway. Did we do the this, the thing that they did? I don't think so. T O. Oh. Whoa. Okay. T S C. Hey, bull. My GitHub is so green. I got obsessive at one point before, when I cared about stuff. You know how I'm saying what I'm saying? True, true. So you went outside, saw the sun. <laughs> But then for your dog, you stay inside for days. All right, have a good time at the grocery store, token doker. If it wasn't for your job, I was making you leave the house. <laughs> okay. Since we only have one oh, wow. file, so we're just going to run cons, thanks for the follow. My cans, my cons. And now we can see that it created the app.js file. But and there's not going to be any differences here, really. We just have console log high, console Hi. log high. Let's go Hi. ahead and run this. We'll open it with live server. Sexy. And then we'll open the console. Wow, wow. And we can see that it logs high. Hi. So we just used plain JavaScript. So let's go back into here and I'm just going to paste some TypeScript. And don't worry about what this looks like. You don't need to understand this right now. You will understand it by the end of this video, though. So let's save this. Close the sidebar. And now we'll need to run TSC again for it to recompile. Ew, every time? Where's the and node we'll mod? go back to our app.js, and we can see that it recompiled this into regular JavaScript. And notice okay. that it's using var instead of let, and that is because we were compiling it down to AS5 standards. So let's look at some basic types. I didn't listen. What did he say? He was saying some words. I'm sure of it. Work for Amazon. The faster you can learn, the faster you can get out. Whoa. Drank. Yeah, you so right. It's a watch flag. Probably will. We're like five, five minutes in, so. Yes, five standards. So let's look at some basic types. Why would they do ES5 standards? Why does it potential? 
Hey, we're doing ES6 because we, we tight. I think maybe. I think that's what this is saying to me. That's great, Lost Crib. Let me know if you need any help, and, and the Discord's very helpful as well. So we don't have to understand it, but, like, I don't think he understands how much I didn't understand what he said. I think he means we don't have to understand the TypeScript. We have to understand what it's doing, and I just didn't understand any of it, so. You can make Nodemon rerun TypeScript if you really want to. This seems like the way to go. Hey, John, thanks for follow. Transpose at ES5 standards. <gasps> Wait, is that a bad thing? If it is, I have to dramatically gasp. <gasps> hey, Paris. Oh, it's like Percival. Percival? Percival? Thanks for all. Not what we write in is what TS will turn our JS into. We can write modern stuff and TS will convert it. Well, we don't want that. So much understanding, which I don't understand. Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I don't either. I don't, I don't, I don't either. The main thing is at the end of the day, it will convert to regular JavaScript. But don't we want it to be ES6? You know? All right, we're like literally only five minutes in, so we gotta do the thing where it does this. Really quick, like and subscribe. It helps no, me No, wait, I lost what you were... So let's look at some basic types. We're compiling. And notice that it's using var instead of let. And that is because we oh. were compiling it down to ES5 standards. So let's look at some basic types. Really quick, like and subscribe. It helps me out. The first type that we'll look at is a string. So we'll say a string equals i. Hi. Now if we hover over this, you can see that VS Code is telling us that this is a type Crank. of a string. Are you if we so try right? to reassign a string to a number. Say no, you little bitch. You'll see that VS Code is yelling at us, or TypeScript is. It's telling us that a number is not assignable to type string. So a string always has to be a string. We could change this to another string, and that will be just fine. Now, if we need to initialize a variable and then I assign say some things to what you're saying. It can write ES6. Good. Do I work anywhere? No. Do you? Some work for Internet Explorer. Isn't Internet Explorer dead? A string drank. <laughs> so you write the most modern JavaScript when you're doing TypeScript, but it adds type checking. When you run TSC, you are transpiling to ES. But why? Drank. <laughs> why would you? Why would it transpile to ES five? It's only mostly dead. Well, that's a quote from something like Monty Python. Not dead yet. I am happy. I am. He's all your points today. We can do a gamble if you want. The why so most browsers can understand it. Oh, I get you. It's the same for VIP. <laughs> you don't work because you're new. Respect. We get there someday. For backwards compatibility? Well, so Safari and all them browsers can run your... I feel like there's a Jabba Safari and, like, cool, I guess. Browsers can't read TypeScript. Right. I just wondered why they wouldn't do the most, the most one. Do we want to gamble? You all want to do some gamble gamble? Firewall wants to go. Firewall's feeling spendy. Spendy. All right. All right. Well, as it goes, we are all gods here. So this is heathens and gods. Um, but, like, it's okay if you pick heathens. I'm just going to tell you, though, that whatever the majority is, you will lose. It, it's happened literally every time. Watch it not happen because I said that, but it probably will still. So you can pick heathens or gods, and it and it and then will be like a minute that you can be some Betty Betty. Oh, it didn't work. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
the 471. <laughs> Spinner. We need like a good one. Is this a good one? No, not really. Maybe. You can bet by it's above your chat, I think. Was this the one that I spun it once and it... Okay, it actually spins us good. Could have an equivalent amount. How about that? Oh. OMG, did it already close? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's see. Let's go. The majority was heathen, so watch. You're going to lose. It's going to be gods. It will. Wait a second. I want to do the clicky clicky. <laughs> it's gods. I told you. <laughs> it always is. It always is. Always. <laughs> Every single time. All right. So, heathens. We guessed a lot. There are four of y'all. And then five, whoa, five people, wait, there were more people that did gods than heathens, so why is it like 35%? Is it because more points are won? Ryan, you won hella points. Wow. Well, well. Anyway, there you go. And we gotta make a, like a, like a little freebie of a VIP. You done been VIP'd. <laughs> no points now. <laughs> I'm not that good. How are you, crazy tech? I think it's so funny, though. Every time, every time, the minority wins. Yeah, every time. All right, we did it. I'm looking for a cool job. Your workplace is hiring? Yeah. I'm looking for jobs. I'm also like dead inside, but like I was when I was not dead inside, I was looking for many jobs. <laughs> what is your workplace? You got sixty points, only five thousand nine hundred forty left. <laughs> Microsoft, bruh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I'm like qualified for that, but like I will absolutely I will do that if maybe. Yep. I can't even say words. I'm sorry. <sighs> Brains. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Ryan. Also, Ted. Amazon will make you dead inside. Okay, internal refers. Okay. Okay. I can't actually say any words. Referrals is what I'm going for. So if you could do referral, that'd be tight. But also, like, I understand if you can. I don't know why I can't speak the words that I say. Words are not real. What is? Maybe we should just be George Barkley, who's a philosopher, and he's like, literally nothing is real except for me, and everything else is just like freaking God being like, ooh, look, it's a person. Ooh, look, it's a computer. <laughs> you know, everything is just your brain. There's no body. That's how you feel it. Fix the mind-body problem. There is no body. Anyway. Words are real. <gasps> Doing fine. Currently trying to figure out how threading coroutines work in Android. You're trying to create an Android client for your server. Hope I feel better. Thank you. I don't know anything about Android stuff, but good luck. Hey, hey big sexy. <laughs> Do I need a hug? 
No, I don't like touching people, so not really. I just need to, like, feel better, you know? I don't know how to do it. Like, I've been trying to figure it out. I'm like, what if I, like, did literally anything? And I was like, nah, you know? I'm a simulation. <laughs> what about a parrot video? Maybe. We all go through these days, but the thing is, Zader, it's been two weeks. So, I, I too, am like, okay, like, I can handle this for, like, a couple days, and then it's two weeks later, I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> okay. You've been like that for two years? Man, Hazel, I'm so sorry. I, ha I, I, okay, I can't say words. I'm on meds for depression, and they work most of the time. It's just not in the last two weeks for some reason. And I think I took them this morning, but I shouldn't take them if I don't know that because I could OD on them. That's not good. Words aren't real. Nothing is real. Anyway, let's do the TypeScript shit. Lexapro gang. I'm on Wellbutrin, so. Oh, we're on a break. Okay. Do I know what triggered it? No. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I, so I like to throw a summer solstice party every year because I think it's like fun. Um, just to make a big deal out of something that most people give zero fucks about. Um, but we didn't really get to throw it this year because of extenuating circumstances and then like I had planned out all this food and mom's like let's have like a Sunday dinner anyways and you can just make that food and then I was making that food and I was just like and that's when that happened so bunch of us are on well butrin the little freezer got chunky on it yeah I haven't gotten chunky on it Thanks for sending that, Seth. Lexapro and Wellbutrin. Wow, 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 wow. We're all of them. And the willies, too. You're on Zoloft. You know what's funny? When, like, uh, Elon Musk was like, fuck Wellbutrin. It was like, Ex what? Like, what the? Leave my drug alone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, internet only. Well, thank you. Do you have any advice in applying for that job? Oh, is it in Brazil? Like in Brazil, or is it um? Look, is it what the what the other words? Remote. Cetraline dropped it. Still feel the same. Woof. On Wellbutrin and Adderall combo, make the dopamine try and keep it around. <laughs> dopamine isn't real. Yeah, so, I mean, like, so, like, so SSRIs are serotonin and the other S reuptake inhibitors, right? Which makes sense, and I can't remember what serotonin does, but then, like, mine is an NDRI, so a no norepinephrine dopamine up reuptake inhibitor, so it keeps that dopamine around. And, like, I feel like, isn't that what everyone generally needs? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just got distracted by everything all the time. Runs to stay sane. I don't know how you run. Running is, like actual torture like i hate running but i'm glad you like it serotonin is a chemical that carries messages between nerve cells and brain throughout your body so what does that serotonin is supposed to make the happy i thought that's what um that's what that's what the dopamine is that's the happy the happy selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors okay serotonin is a neurotransmitter that mediated satisfaction happiness and optimism Serotonin levels are reduced in depression, and most antidepressant drugs, known as serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, act by increasing the, uh, increasing the amount of serotonin available to brain cells. Hmm. Oh, I'm glad it didn't kill you, Hertz. Dopamine is a cookie reward? We're talking about drugs that make us happy. <laughs> Wait, I'm... I'm I just, I don't quite understand the difference, but I'm sure there is one. I can't believe I was able to read that whole thing you just typed, uh, Firewall. 
because my mouth hasn't been working with the talking, so... <laughs> I'm gonna drink my gross tea. Ew. Yuck. It's not good. I've been afraid of SSRIs ever since. Woof. Dopamine is the reward chemicals that makes you feel good about doing the thing. And serotonin just makes you feel good. Well, both... Well, butrin and Lexapro treat depression. They're not the same type, right? We're sort of blocking dopamine, norepinephrine, right? And Lexapro blocks the reuptake of serotonin. Right, I know that. I just, my brain is like, I don't know the difference really. This. <laughs> Last script, are you trying to bring back trauma? <laughs> Fitness gram PISA test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues okay story time i did that in seventh grade so i was 13 and we segregated by sex and so there was the girls and then we did the running and i was the one who ran the longest i ran so many i don't know how many i think it was like 70 and like i was just i was i was I was so tired, and I was like, oh my goodness, like, my brain is dead, everything's dead, but then everyone was like, yeah, because I was literally the only one still running, and so I kept running, and it was just, whoa, and then I stopped running, and I was just going to stop, like, walking and running, and then my, and then my coaches were like, you got to walk just a little bit to, like, walk off the running you just did, and so, yeah. As far as our eyes also making me into magic mushrooms, really... You know, I thought I might have ADHD, but I don't think I do. I think I just have childhood trauma. That's something I've been thinking about recently. Maybe that's why I'm depressed. <laughs> Here you go. All right, so we're only six minutes into this video, which is wild because we've been going for an hour. So. Hmm. Okay. I value later we have to explicitly declare the type first. So to declare a type, we use a colon and then the type, which is string. So now a string must be a string. Wait, I thought if I was doing that anyways. To assign a number to it. It's not going to let us, but we can assign a string. Now, alternatively, we could do this. We could say a string is going to be a type of string and it's going to equal string. But this is kind of redundant and unnecessary, so you really don't need to add this type here. Oh, because I see. it's implied when you assign it to a string. All right, next we'll look at numbers. So we'll say let a num equal five. So again, TypeScript has implicitly declared that this is a number. And if we try to I assign just build on a me. number Good for me. Love that. to a string, it's not going to let us, but we can assign it to another number. And then again, if we need to declare this before adding a value to it, we would say a number is a number. And then we could say a num. Newsflash. A number is a number. Wow. Did you know that? I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. 24 hour stream. <laughs> no. CPTSD maybe, yeah. Going for an hour, only six minutes into a YouTube video, and I don't think I have ADHD. I don't feel like I actually have a lot of the, what are the symptoms, the signs and symptoms. And I don't want to be like, I totally have that, and like, be disrespectful to the people who actually do, you know what I'm saying? You're having a weird, like, cramp in my leg where my muscle's like twitching, it's just like, like that, and my calf is doing that. It's not that way all the time with playing JavaScript since it's dynamic language. Oh. But what if I don't have a firewall? My leg wants to run. No, I never. I, I, I did the running for like a whole school season. I always got like the cramp in my, like, in my ribs. Like I ran for months and always. So it's like physically like excruciating. Like I can't breathe very well because like I have like splitting side cramps. <sighs> yeah. So. 
It's a wide spectrum. All right. Well, maybe I do. But also, like, apparently childhood trauma also has very similar signs and symptoms. So. <laughs> Crams just your insides giving you a hug. <laughs> Potassium helps. You know, I just, I haven't really been eating, so that's probably what's up. Because I've been feeling like I want to throw up, and so I haven't been eating, so, yeah. Yeah, I identify as a woman. How was I in school as a child? I was fantastic. So good at the tests. I was a little I was the little nerd. When you don't eat you get hella nauseous. But like I drank water this morning and I got nauseous. I don't, you know what I'm saying? If I just like, I don't have bananas. Those live at the store, not at my house. I also just like, I'm just not taking care of myself. So it could also be why I like have shitty brain. Um. <laughs> yeah, I eat burritos and cereal, but this morning I ate some fried vegetables and those were the first vegetables I had in like two months, so. Or cheaters say so yeah, I'm good at test. No, I w I'm just a fantastic. Okay, fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic test taker. So bad at retaining information, but I'm fantastic at taking tests. But after the test, like boom, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You're in trouble a lot. Hey FLA, thanks for the follow. Stress and anxiety can also produce nausea. Hmm. Eating is important. <laughs> if you really want me to, I can go get a cheese stick. I have cheese sticks. Fried fruit? Mm. You know, actually, that kind of sounds good. Wait, no, no, I totally have had, like, fried plantains. That, that shit's good. Trying to... <laughs> All right, Firewall, I will do it for you. I feel pity on you. Drank. Stuffed peppers. Oh, oh. Uber Eats a salad? I don't have any money. Sorry. Can't do it. Smoke a little? Nah. The last time I smoked, I almost coughed my lungs up. And it was like, ew. It was like I had some fire in my lungs. And I wasn't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not a big fan of smoking, so... Yeah, don't. <laughs> I didn't drink. It, it wasn't a request, but I've been doing the drinking. The the just the ew. Ew. I feel like I'm a baby, and you're my you're my parent, and you're just watching me like drink my my bottle. That is truly awful. Old man, I have a Discord. <laughs> That's a weird thought. Okay, but like my brain isn't working, so. Do you want to? I can do this. ASMR. Okay, ready? I can't even wait a second. Mom's got some like ginger that's trying to get into my mouth, and I'm trying to say no to it, so. How was that? I'm not a. I'm not an ASMR fan. We don't have music in the background. It's because we're supposed to be watching a video and I just got distracted because that is just me. I'm just that. Sorry, blood. I won't do it again. <laughs> Lost script is 37. You are old when you're 70. That's what I say. So. You're definitely less than that, I would say. 
Ping 30 made you the oldest? Wow. Interesting. Did we get to minute 9? No, nah, we didn't even get to minute 7. Okay, we got it, 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 we got it. Equals a number. All right, the next type that we'll look at is a Boolean. So we'll say let a bool equal true. A bool. And we hover over this, we'll see that it is being assigned to a Boolean type. Boolean bitch. So again, if we try to assign anything else to this other than a Boolean, it's going to yell at us. So we add a number, it's going to say... That the what if the what if like what if it like did like a like a ring wraith streak every time you like fucked up like like I can't do it my brother can't like like I can't do it like something like that <laughs> I'm so bad at ring wraith streaks but like I'm thinking like yes yeah, somebody code that I was streaming coding. <laughs> I uh, I don't get very much done, but I do like doing it. Hey, Ivy, thanks for follow. What's the too long didn't read? <laughs> An extension for it? Like you should though. Like Ivy, just that would be so f that would be so funny. That would be anyway. I doubt it. Who would have made like a ring wraith shriek when you type in like errors? What are you teaching that needs for two minutes? Well, a whole compiler thingy, I guess. Too long didn't watch. Strings aren't numbers. You seem chill, but am I actually? Well, what what's your definition of chill? Is chill like... Because if so, yes. If chill is like, are you happy inside? Then like, nah. <laughs> anyway. Just leave it at that is not assignable to type boolean so we could change this to false and that will work just fine and again if we need to declare this first before assigning something to it we could just do like this add a type to it now if we were to just say let any var like this and we hover over that you'll see that it is of the type any so any undefined variable will default to this type of any if we say any var equals a string, then it's, it's string going to bitch. default to the type of string. string bitch. But if we wanted this to be the type of any, we could explicitly define that here. And now it's of the type any. And so we could go here and say any var is now equal to five. And that's going to let us because this is of the type any. It can be any type. And this is really the default Thank behavior you. of JavaScript. Thank you. So it really defeats the purpose of using TypeScript. And then why did we talk about it for 10 minutes? Any, if at all possible. Now, there may be instances where you need a variable to be multiple types. So let's say, for instance, let year, and let's say our input is going to give us uh, possibly. You know what? Fuck it. I need a cheese stick. I got to eat a cheese stick. My stomach, you, we talked about food and my, my stomach was like, but what like if you did eat? And if I see it feel sick, then like, what's new? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back with my cheese stick. I need to catch up on what y'all were saying to me when I was trying to focus. New project idea? I don't know. This is new project D. No, <laughs> for now. <laughs> Amazing. Chili was calm. Well, then I do that maybe. Pretty chill stream. Good vibes. Plus, we're all sent to the brain so we sound. <laughs> Woof. 
thought she'll be cold. Well, I am cold. I have a jacket on because I'm I'm actually kind of freezing. So, yeah. How long did I pause it? Oh man, I I paused it. I paused it too fast for you to make the bets. Under five seconds. Were you right? So we get it. We're working on a project. If you have ADHD, it helps a ton. You know, I had I had some propel packets that I used to drink, but I ran out of them, and I haven't gone to the store, so I can't get more. Is it specifically Gatorade, or can, like, propel be like, yes? Okay. I'm gonna do something that may make you angry, but it will just make it easier to eat this. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna bite it, okay? I just did that. Alright. A string, or a number. So we can oh, yeah? say that here <laughs> is a string or a number. It can be either. This is called a union, and we use the pipe character Marriage. to define the or. So now we could say year equals 2021, and that's just fine. We could also say year equals 2021, and that works as well. But we couldn't say year equals false. That's not allowed. So maybe later on in our function, it has a const of parse year and then it's going to equal parse int and then year and then we'll know that we'll always have a number here we can see that parse int is now of type number yeah, why did I start eating right, this? next let's look at arrays and objects so first we'll say let array string equal and we'll just have a string in here we have an array of strings and if we hover over this we can see that it is of the type string with square brackets. So that would be just like saying string like this. And so now if we want to reassign some variables within this, we could say array string, and let's take the first index. If we say that it is equal to one, that's not going to be allowed because it must be of type string. Ring. We could reassign uh, index one to another string and that would be just fine. We could also try to push something into this string. Let's push a number. That's not going to be allowed, but we can push a string. All right, same thing with numbers. So we can say let array number equal an array of numbers. And if we hover over that, we can see that it is of the type number with square brackets. So same as saying Broke number square brackets. And again, if we try to reassign things, say number, raise zero equals string, that's not going to be allowed. Uh, but another number is just fine. And if we try to push a number, that will be just fine, but we can't push a string. And then an array of booleans. So we'll say let array bool equal, say true and false. Right, so if we hover over this, we'll see that it is an array of Booleans with square brackets. So the same as Boolean square bracket, right? Again, typing this is redundant if you're assigning it, uh, but if you need to declare it first and then assign it later, then you do need to declare the type. So then again, if we say array Boolean index zero equals a number, that's not going to work. String is not going to work but we can change it to false. Uh, we can also do array boolean push, and we can push another boolean, and that will be just fine. So now what if we want a mixed array that has strings, numbers, and booleans? We can do that as well. We'll say let array mix equal one, a, and true. That's so the first that interesting thing in this whole video. This, we'll see that it is a union, basically of string, Marriage. number, and boolean. So if we were to declare this first without assigning uh, variables to it, we would say string number boolean, but because this is an array, we have you to spell wrap it, right. it you spell in it wrong. parentheses, and then after the parentheses, square brackets. It's and wrong. to spell Ring. boolean correctly. There we go. So now this array can have any of these types within it. So because of that, it kind of defeats the purpose of TypeScript. 
Uh, but so we can say array mix, and we'll take the uh, first index, which is originally a number, and we're now going to assign a string to it, and it's going to let us. So I don't really like that. Um, we can also array mix dot push. We can push a string. We can push a number. We can push a boolean. Uh, it doesn't matter. Any of these will work anywhere within this array. So maybe you have arrays where. All right, I, I focus for many hours. What were we saying? I was distracted. I wanted to see what you said. Drinking sugar water, yo. A G signal, cheese. Why are you watching this video? <laughs> I never played Minecraft. I, I once, there were some zombies that came at me once and I was like, ah, and then my brother was like, I protect you. I guess just live in the house for the rest of the game. And then I was like, cool. And then, and then I got bored, so. Why this video? Cause some mobby sunshine was like, watch this video, so. No friends to homeboy, but I didn't even know we're trying to learn. I guess types. I also said a lot. A Minecraft cliff. Just do Java. <laughs> I never played Stardew Valley. We made it to the 13 minutes. Wow. You don't understand this at all. What I understand is that uh, you got a variable. You set it equal to something, and then whatever type that thing is, is locked. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's locked. But also, you could be explicit. But also, you don't need to. So that's what I've got so far. There you go, lost crib. Well, I'll finish the video before after you get back. There'll be beard dogs and random conversations. Hey, go to the meetup. That's way more interesting than I am. I've got the peoples. Thirteen measures to five seconds. Implicitly take the type of whatever you initially set it to. Well, you know, once we talked about corgis on here, I don't really like dogs, but we talked about corgi butts, and I, not being a dog person, I was like, why are we talking about this? But apparently people talk about stuff like that. Eleven minutes when it starts in thirty. Wait, are you doing? Are you doing the? Are you driving while you're texting? <gasps> Be responsible. No, I don't really like dogs. They smell bad and they poop and I'm just like, ew, you know? Drink. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you had enough points for that. Put some corgi butts. Everyone smells bad and poops? No. Nah. Like birds poop, but it doesn't smell bad and it's really small. And their breath doesn't stink. Hey, thanks, Seth. You as well. So I don't like you. <gasps> yeah, it's not a popular opinion, but I just I don't really like them. I'm a bird bird girl. Can you get water? I will fetch a pail of water. With that logic, you could like not most living things, but not all of them have the stinky breaths. You know, they're too not very <laughs> wolf. You're not a big dog person either, but you don't voice it because, wow, people hold that against you. It's not the first time I said it. The first time I thought people would be like, oh, my God, and then they weren't. I was like, oh. But now I didn't think people would care, and now people are like, oh, my God. So I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> that is necessary, and that's just fine, but that's something that we just need to be careful with. So now what if we only want to allow certain types in specific spots of the array? So let's call it a tuple. So we're going to say let array two equal a string and then a number. So by default, 
This is going to say that it is a union of string or number Marriage. and that those can go anywhere. But we want to explicitly define the spots within the array and what they should be. So to do that, we will have to say string and number. So instead of defining on the outside of the array here, we're defining inside the array, right? So we have the square brackets and then inside it, we're gonna say this first index zero has to be a string and index one has to be a number, right? So now we go down here, we could say array two equals, and we can change the string to another string and we can change this number to another number and that's just fine. Now notice how I didn't have the number here. I only had the string. It's telling us that we need a string and a number. We need both. So we have to add a number in there. Now, if I tried to do a number here, that's not going to work. It's going to tell us that we need a string. And if I tried to add a string here, that's not going to work. So it must be the other way around. String and then number. All right, now let's look at objects. So we're going to Tuples, say bitch. Say person equal talk free <laughs> wait what is the joke about booleans um what do you call us? some goes a boolean <laughs> that's great Has everyone thought some mangoes okay oh, get frozen mangoes from walmart it's like the best snack ever just saying Tube sounds like two or is it two or two who knows <laughs> <laughs> Tubles with tulips. I get that. <laughs> and this is going to be an object. We'll say the name is Jesse. Jesse's girl. And age, we'll say 25. 25. Sure, so here we're implicitly defining the types with know this that object. Jesse's 25. So we, have here, and we have a number. And then on the object itself, it is a name with string and an age with number. So a per this person object must always have a name and an age. And we'll see that right here. So if we say person.name. Person, bitch. We could say Jesse. equals another name. We'll say John. John. That will work just fine. But if we try to say person.name is a number, Ten. that's not going to work. We need a string. Hello, my name is The Ten. same thing with age. We also can't say person equals a string or anything else, because person has to be an object. It needs to be an object <laughs> with the name property and the age property. And we also can't add on to this. So we can't say person.email equals something because email does not exist in the type person. All right, next let's look at custom types. So if you find yourself using a union over and over, you have specific types. More food <laughs> I'm your spirit animal. Well, then you must be mine. Isn't it re Reciprocity? Ben 10. I used to watch that, maybe. I watched the um the one with the teenage d d heroes. And one of them was Raven, I think. And that's about all I remember about that. So Type that you want to reuse. You can use something called type aliases. So let's say. Type aliases. Year. They don't want to know the real year. Or number, or... like we had earlier. If you're using the string and number union frequently, we can create its own custom type. So we can say type. Type. We'll Ooh. say string or num equals string Ooh. or number. Ooh. And now we can use this custom type here to define our year. Of course, then we could say year equals 2021, or we could say year Whoa. equals a string. 2021. So now you can reuse this type anywhere else in your code to define something as a string or number. All right, next let's look at function. So we'll say function, we'll say calc sum, and it's going to be passed two values. And then we're just going to return a plus b. All right, this is a very simple JavaScript function. This will work just fine in regular JavaScript. And we could call calc sum and we'll say two and two. And so that would return four. And you can see the TypeScript is kind of yelling at us. It's it's assigning Ring. any to these and it doesn't like that. So it wants us to, to do something here. 
So what we'll do here is we're going to define A is going to be a number and B is going to be a number. And so now if we tried to pass anything other than a number, it's going to yell at us. So it says the string Yay. is not assignable to parameter of type number. So it must be a number. And now if we hover over this, we can see that we have A as a number, B as a number. And then notice at the end of the function there, it has another colon number. So that means it's going to return a number. So it'd be the same as typing colon number here. So we're explicitly saying here that this function is going to return a number. But again, we don't have to type this because TypeScript is inferring that it's going to return a number because of our return statement here and the fact that it's passing in number. But what if we wanna make sure that a function functions as intended? We should declare that function first before we write it. So this time I'm gonna rewrite this function as an arrow function. I'm gonna say let calc sum, and then I'm just going to define the types. So we'll say a number and b. I just had a moment. Look, it's batteries. Batteries that were triple A, and then I just realized some of these look chonkier than the others. And I recently lost my batteries for my controller, and, and I need some double A, and now I found them. There are two in here. So, yeah. This seemed like an important thing to do. I hope they have batteries. Or power charge. Oh my god, have fun. Anyway. Teen Titans, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't ever watch that much of it, but... One time of speed is unbearable. Yes it is, I haven't changed the speed. No thing way can be any slower. <laughs> Type shift be yelling a lot. Yeah, it is. Type shift sensors forces you to think about types, so holes don't exist in your logic. Really, really. You're like 23, and it's 1:30 a.m., and you're still not bed sleeping. We had a conversation earlier about how we all did that, so like, you're not alone. So put your right to bed. What if I don't even think about types anyway? Anyway, let's learn types here playing Witcher. <laughs> what type of person is Geralt? A Witcher. What type of monster is this? It's a Drowner. But if you try and say it's a Geralt, then it's the wrong type. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But y'all were like, oh my god, so slow. So I guess we'll speed it up just a little bit. I'm just scared that even though it's so slow, like if I make it faster, I'm just gonna like lose it. Yeah. We're distracted. We are living in 3023, not even need to think about it. Wait, am I supposed to be? Woof. Did we learn stuff so far? Well, we learned that you can explicitly set types and type shit, but also you don't need to. So that's chill. And there's a thing called tuples, and you can say, you can let it be like a sort of variable and set it to be the type. And you're like, let Rufio equals a string or a number. And then every time Rufio shows up, you'd be like, that shit can be a string or a number or something like that. I don't know. Is JS my first language? Yes. It's my only language. I'm committed. And then, now, we're looking at uh, functions. Hey, skill point, I'm glad you got to hang. I'm glad you got to hang. We're watching a very boring video. Video, 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 video. But we made it into the 18 minutes, 19 minutes. And then arrow, and we're going to return a number. Okay, so we're just defining this. This is a function, it's going to accept two parameters that are numbers, and it's going to return a number. So since we've defined this, now when we actually write the function, it's going to ensure that we write it correctly. So we'll say calc sum 
equals, and we'll say first, that's going to be a number, second, a number, and we're going to return first plus second. Okay, so that works just fine. Now, it, these don't have to match A, B. You can put whatever you want here, and then you can name them here when you're actually defining the function. So now, because I have this defined up here, if for some reason I forgot to return, then it's going to yell at us and it's going to say that it's returning a type of void and it should return type of number. So we'll get to void in a minute, but we need to return this number for it to function properly. Now, sometimes in functions you have optional parameters. So we could also say that we have a third parameter and that is going to be a number. Now, if we go down here and we actually call calc sum, we pass it two and two, it's going to yell at us because it's expecting a third number. Third is not provided. So if this parameter is optional, we can just add a question mark before the colon, and now we can pass two or three values. And always be sure to add your optional parameters at the end of your function. You can't have an optional first because the first value needs to be there. Really quick, like and subscribe. It helps me out. Bruh. That's what I say. Bye, Firewall. Have a good meeting. We meet up. See, like, I know what types are. I just didn't know I needed to pay attention to them this much. I swear I write a lot of code and I'm not paying attention. Can you imagine if I just did that? If I'm just talking and I'm just like, I just literally interrupt myself. Like, I'm like, and then a tuple is, hey, I'll just like, like and subscribe. And then I'm like, anyway, a tuple is this thing. It's a good bedtime story. <laughs> okay, so earlier we saw that void is a type. So let's look at this. We'll say const, say hi. Hi. An arrow function. And we're just going to console log hi. Hi. Okay. So this function returns void. So void is nothing. It's not undefined. It's not null. It's just a complete lack of anything. All right, moving on, we'll look that's at me. interfaces. That's me. So that's my. That's my brain. My heart. My soul. We're going to say interface. Complete lack now, this of is anything. going to look very new. We're going to say person interface. And we're going to say name. It's going to be a string. And age is going to be a number. Okay, so this, this defines a person object and what it should look like. So very similar to earlier, we had a person and the person had a name and an age. This just defines what that person object needs to have within it before we actually assign any values to it. Okay, so in order to use this, we can say let Mike. Mike. Mike, let's, see, let's just say equals an object for now. We're going to say name, Mike, and then age is going to be 34. Okay, so if we hover over this, we can see that Mike is an object, just a normal object, and this looks just fine. But we want to make sure that Mike adheres to the person interface that has all of the types from the person interface. So we can do that explicitly here after Mike. We say Mike is actually not an object. Technically, it is a person interface. So now <laughs> if we hover over this, we say Mike person interface. And now if we change this here to a number, that would yell at us because it's expecting a number. We took this back off. We can see that it's just fine because we're declaring that here. Mike has a name that is a string and an age that is a string because we're defining it here. But instead of defining it here, we want to define it here so that we do it correctly. So now we know that this needs... Why do I care? That's what I want to know. Think of a form. User inputs their age. You want it as an integer, but comes in as a string. Hmm. How far into the video are we? Halfway. It looks more than that, though. But, like, basically exactly halfway. Sort of, maybe. A little bit more than halfway. Traverses. But then we have to watch a whole other one. Don't like watching videos when I just do a project. Well, because I don't know anything about TypeScript. I know zero. And I'm even worse at reading documentation. Small things you really don't need to be explicit about the types, you guess, when your code starts spamming. Separate files. Whoa, wow. Hey, Born. Long time no see. Um, you start spanning separate files. You start, you forget what arguments a function might take. Return its types get useful. So you type age of the string, have it convert later on. Hmm. All right, we're watching. Do you have a specific uh, parrot video you want to watch?
Got an array of objects. Oh, that was so rude. Of objects, you need to do stuff to... How do you know what properties it has? Uh, or what types those properties are? Which of those properties are optional? Look at the types. She'll seem to listen to how you butcher your AP. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> All right. Mm. Oh my god, it's 12 minutes. We can't watch all that. These ones are talking to each other. a trippy voice. It's kind of scary. The other one's got a chill voice. Can you imagine this is being in your house all of the time? <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I forgot to mute me. Sorry. Oh, surprise. Different ones. Ah, oh, she's feeling horny. That is not what we're trying to watch here. Nah, bruh. Kisses. Missing a tail feather. You see the missing tail feather? They are flirting right now. This is his courtship dance, and she's like, "Dude, I'm already down." And he's like, "But what if I did? What if I danced?" He's doing heart, heart wings. God, they're so weird. All right, well, wow, all right. All right. What's cool about TypeScript is you can pretty much just write JavaScript and it will run for the most part. 
They have Thai script as a seasoning to a bland boiled chicken. Hmm. I'm reading. Type two's restrictions around what inputs and outputs are supposed to look like. Hmm. Hey, Maltese. I'm not that good, but how are you? The hunt has not been going. I've been hella depressed for like two weeks. <laughs> Sounds like Chucky. <laughs> well, birds will make a lot of noise, born. So much noise. Even Amazon, will you send me pictures? Does your Amazon say funny words? I like that. I mean, I'm sure it gets tiring, but like, what if you shared funny words that your Amazon said? Imagine that you have articles like Amazon and code, and you have a product class, which has a name, price, and description. If you last a class, you would expect it can access the field's name, price, and description, right? But in plain JavaScript, that's not the case. You can pass anything to everything. You might pass a number into a function that needs an article. Tasture just makes it easier to code. Oh. I want it, sorry. Real. TypeScript enforces that you can only pass articles to functions that want an article. If that's what you eat your house. It was. It was. Hey, Peter. Yeah, we're doing TypeScript because I thought I should learn it, but we got really distracted and we're like only halfway through and I've been going for almost two hours, so. Someone hit you at the best starting point for someone that only knows HTML. Bruh, remember when I said do the 100 devs to that? Remember? Here, I will just give you the all the previous classes. Wait a second. I was about to say, I'm sniffing because I'm cold. What are you doing? What did you do? I like how the other one says, what did you do? That's like anger. But also it is in a creepy voice. So. All right, so. Um. How was creating the game and terminal interview? Oh, it was a. It's the first time anyone's redeemed that one. <laughs> um, it went very poorly. I did not get the job, needless to say. I already spoken about how I've been the past week. Yeah, but I can say it again if you want. If we were perfect programmers, you wouldn't need TypeScript, but... When you first learned TypeScript, you found it best to just jump in. Change the extension from JS to TS, and then try and fix the red squigglies. Whoa, whoa. You have two interviews? Bruh. Good luck. How do you feel about that? TypeScript catches silly programmer mistakes, and also provides a layer of documentation by annotating your function inputs and outputs. Hmm. You applied cold on Friday and heard back? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I caught up. Y'all said so many words. You want more interviews? You never said the whole haven't worked for anyone in a decade? I can't really speak to that because I just haven't worked, so. <laughs> Where are you applying? So, um... Big Sexy, I don't know if you've heard of 100 devs or if you're in 100 devs, but in case you're not, we're part of a, like, a online free JavaScript agency slash bootcamp, but mostly agency, where you learn full stack JavaScript, and our teacher talks about how to get a job, and basically it's through referrals. So you find a job listing, then you connect with like someone at the company, and you try and get a referral, because that will get you out of the ATS hell and get your resume to the top of the pile. So. You never see you suck at the whole leet code shit? Me too. 
How do you relay these stories about disagreeing with coworkers and facing adversity? I don't know. Any answers for for Born? To be a number and not string. And we can use interfaces on classes as well. So let's look at a class. We'll get rid of this. We'll say, we'll say class of person. And we're going to say implements person interface. So we need to have a name that ew. is a string. Classes, and an ew. Age that is a number. And in classes, we have to have a constructor. So we'll say name is a string and age is a number. Then we'll say this dot name equals in and this dot age equals a. All right. So this all functions properly as a class should. So we're defining name and age, and then we're taking our constructor. Again, this n and this a, this, you can put whatever you want here as long as you assign them to the proper values down here. So this dot name is referring to the person name. We're assigning it to the name string, and then this dot age equals the age string, right? And all of this is working together to make sure that it functions properly. If we tried to add something else, let's say email, and that is a string, that's not going to work because this needs to adhere to the person interface, which only has a name and an age. So we could also add a method onto this class. We're going to say greet. And then in here, we're going to return. We'll say, hi, hi. my name is, and then we'll add this dot name and I am, and then this dot age. So now in order to use this, we could say, let John equal a new person. We're going to say that his name is John. Just create a new person. Age is God? 35. And then we can console log. John.greet. We can see now that we don't have any red squigglies anywhere, so it's very likely that our code is going to work just fine when we run it. Let's go ahead and run this, actually. We're going to save that. Now we need to recompile it, so we're going to go back and into our terminal, TSC, recompile, and then let's go back to our website. All right, so we can see here it says, Hi, my name is John, and I am 35. And this error has nothing to do with TypeScript. So another cool thing about classes is the ability to add access modifier. So we can say that certain values or methods are private, public, protected, or read-only. So for instance, right now on John, we could say, what is John's? age, name, or we can call the greet method. If we go up here, we could actually say that name is private. And now if we go down here to John and we check, we can now no longer access name outside of the class. And within this method greet, it can still access the name, but that's because it's still inside the class. So that's pretty cool. We can also rewrite this to be a bit cleaner. So let's get rid of this. We're going to say constructor. We're actually going to get rid of the assignment as well. So we're going to say constructor. Now we have to use the access modifiers for this to work. So we're going to say public name is a string and we're going to say public age is a number and that's all that we actually have to do it's going to automatically assign these values because we declared these uh, just like this with the access modifiers the name and this type so this looks a lot cleaner and again now we can call age name or greet so next let's look at dom and typecasting so we're going to implement what we've written so far here's all the videos including interface and the name of the interface I think to communicate that it was an interface, I don't know. If you want to talk about how I've been, go for it. Otherwise, we can talk later. It's been a while and hope I'm okay. Yeah, I've been really depressed, you know, basically for two weeks. Yeah. There's no reason, really, like there isn't. I just haven't been responding to anyone. And I've been like, what could I do that made me feel better? And I was like, actually nothing, so. No, does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like I should be like, well, it's because my dog's aunt died. You know, you know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's just, it's just, I sneeze. Thank you, Dan. You're a giga socially anxious. You did audio engineering and realized you weren't cut out for it because you never want to go network. You know, if you're slightly autistic, but you just feel fake when you try. Hmm. I mean, I feel fake when I try to. You're nervous at the whole you suck at leak code shit. You know, honestly, I that's hit me a lot. So I'm not going to say don't be nervous, but like you will most likely be fine. It's basically simple OP. Here's someone saying they didn't like the I prefix interface naming convention.
Hey, Milk. It is depression. I have, like, I've been diagnosed with depression. Mostly my meds work. After you talk, Sam. Was I low even before the bullshit court ruling? Yeah, I've been low since not this last weekend, but the weekend before. So, like, I don't know if that's quite two weeks, but it's been a while. It's okay. It doesn't have to make sense. Still real. Just a current temporary moment. But it's been... The, the moments lasted so long. It's really rude. And I just wanted to go away, but also it's still here, so... <laughs> Depression is a fickle bitch that doesn't have rhyme or reason. <laughs> related to the job hunt i mean it could be but again like not explicitly like there's no like real reason you know because if there was i could fix it <laughs> oh it was so nice I appreciate y'all. And I've had a lot of people who've, like, reached out to me and be like, yo, you good? And that is really, really nice of you. And I just don't know how, like, you have that much in you to care, you know? Like, I respect it, but it's like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? And then and then I get, like, this weird, like, complex where I'm like, why do they care? Like, I don't deserve this amount of attention, but, like, I do appreciate it. Little real things add up. True. Blame my brother for pulling down the green screen. Could be. Speaking from my personal experience, it doesn't have to be a reason. I appreciated that, Born. Do you ask because you want to be asked? Well, how are you doing, Big Sexy? How are you doing? I don't know. I feel like I have, like, two versions of being depressed. And one is, like... Like, I want to talk to people, and, like, I'm, like, kind of depressed, but I'm also not really, and it, like, doesn't take long to get me out of it. And then when I'm, like, actually depressed, like, I don't talk to anyone, and I don't leave my bed, and I just, you know, I just, you know? So. That's it, because you lost a sparkle, too. <laughs> yeah, are you okay messages can be hard, too, because, like, no, but I can feel like putting on someone to help. Wait, I don't quite get it. I'm trying to understand. Is listening. Aw, oh, shucks. How'd the baby shower go? Did I have fun there? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was a couple days after that that it went down, though. Oh, born. You were like, what if you make, like, a guitar drawing? And so I did. Here, I'll show it to you. Wait a second. Let me get the big screen. I do that like this weekend. So you'll be staring at code aimlessly and wondering why you bother sometimes. It takes a lot to pull back and refocus to varying degrees of success. True. It sounds about as fun as a baby shower could be, yeah. Like you may not be okay, but telling someone that can feel like putting pressure on them to do something. See, like, I don't know. I don't feel like that is quite me. I just, like, I feel bad for, like, not being responsive, you know, and, like, letting people down. And, like, I'm a grown-ass adult. I need to respond to emails and shit. Like, I do. Like, if especially if they're, like, workish related or would be, like, I need to respond to those. And then I just don't, you know. I just don't. I am 24. I don't know if that's what you're asking. He's only supposed to get past the beginning. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. How is TypeScript cheating? We're watching the video that you uh, that you sent us, Mavi. He's a little boring, but like it's mostly good. Thanks, Milk. You need 1.6 more for a custom or a, for a normal one? to 
going to get 20k. Whoa, whoa. You don't need to respond to emails. Got a bunch of 24 year olds up in here. You only need to do what you want. But also, like, like I don't know. Like, like if you don't want to talk to your friends, like, you don't have to. You don't. Like, you should, but you don't have to. But, like, if, if, like, your boss messages you, you can just be like, sorry, I just didn't want to talk. You know? You know? Not that I have a boss, but. You once had a whole smidge of college because you're too in to go online and withdraw from the classes. Woof. Love that guitar. Thank you. Little Freezer's, little Freezer, little Freezy's 23. See it again if you want to, I guess. You watched it two times. There you go. Is that what you wanted? I don't know if it's like focusing quiet. And I think I might add a background, but also I like didn't have like the energy today, so I didn't do that. Wait, why are we looking at old pictures of you born? Anyway, brains are fucked up. My brain is fucked up. If I'm not responding to you, it's not because, like, I have anything against you, literally. It's just, I don't know. I don't even, I don't have good reason. So, yeah. <laughs> Hit the longest run of seasonal depression last year, bleeding into this year, and you completely neglected all your friendships, but was aware of it the whole time, and the guilt would kill you, so you can just couldn't get yourself to do it. I feel that. I get hella guilty about things, but then I don't fix them. What does that say about my and Wolf? Okay. We are, like, sort of close to being 75% done. Having depression is a good medical reason. It's not exactly in your control, though it's always hard to believe that. You're right, but also, like, I don't know. Some people don't have depression, and they're just like, do you hate me? Like, I, no, I even have a friend who does have depression, and she's like, do you hate me? And I'm like, no, I just, you know. I hung out with her this weekend for over 24 hours, and I remembered why I can only hang out with her, like, every six months. She stayed for over 24 hours, and I was like, leave. And then she didn't, and I was like, <laughs> and then she didn't leave. And that was, like, 24 hours later, and then she left, you know? Depression is addicting. The sense of not caring feels good sometimes. I've definitely had moments where I'm like... I feel awful, and I don't want to feel better, you know? Like, it didn't make any sense, but I was like, I don't want to stop feeling like this. I just don't want to, f I don't know, you know? You have zero friends? What are we? Hmm? You gave a single person 24 hours of Rufio time? How many channel points did she redeem? She wouldn't leave, and I don't like being mean and be like, please get out of my house. Like, we already hung out. You were supposed to leave this morning. Like, she slept over, and I was like, bro. Bro. So, I probably, what's gonna happen is she'll be like, hey, let's hang out again, and then I won't say anything. <laughs> and then, like, six months later, she'll be like, hey, so, like, I hope you've been doing well. I'm like, oh, we can hang out again, and it just keeps happening. If others can't understand, believe your words, is it really your problem or theirs? I don't know. I definitely try and make people feel as happy as possible. Or, and like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be the cause of people's, like, sadness, even if it's, like, on their end, you know? Sometimes it's easier to lay around and feel numb. Yup. Hey, Tetsu, thanks for follow. When your social battery ties out, but your friend is overcharged. Yeah. Want to send the brew juice? Yep. Mm-hmm. can feel comfortable even if it's destructive, and we tend towards repeating habits that feel comfortable. Why don't I tell her the truth? Well, what, so, 
we were talking she's like i really like people being open with me but at the same time it does hurt my feelings like i know it shouldn't but it does like if they say something like that like it will hurt my feelings and i was like <laughs> how do i tell you that i just don't want to hang out you know i don't want to hurt your feelings doesn't seem healthy at all nah she's got like bipolar disorder and depression so she's got some issues as well but like she puts in a lot of effort into her relationship and i just don't to be fair low maintenance friends are the best friends see them once every couple of months is fine that's how i just want all my friends to be i'm like we hung out three months ago and that just seemed like really you want to do it again like we just did it Feelings will always be hurt. You can't do anything about it. But, like, what if you can? Say, so like, have your me time. Like, hey, um, will you leave? I like to have my me time. <laughs> you have a friend who, in town, who I text every day, even though nothing is ever new and you don't want to text. You know, like, and, like, I think there's, like, sometimes we don't get, like, social cues, and that's fine. And I think that's probably her a little bit. And... If you try and hang out with someone, they don't respond, and you keep trying, and they, like, skip out, or they don't respond, eventually you can be like, you know what, they don't really ha want to hang out, but she doesn't, she just, like, keeps at it. <laughs> don't try to be pleasant? No. I refuse, I have to be pleasant. How nice of you to come here. Now leave. How do you say, dude, leave me alone? I don't know. Take the British approach, slap and you say, Right, best be off. <laughs> you get in trouble with friends because you love being alone, so you disappear for months, and they get angry if you don't text back or play with them, but you enjoy being by yourself. Sister Q sucks. You hate you hate them so much. <laughs> twenty four rabble. I don't have enough energy to do like a twenty four hour stream. Like I just don't. I don't. Or even a twelve hour stream. You know, I'll probably stop streaming at some point today, um, and then I'm going to lay on my bed, and, and then I'm going to be like, let me just look at, like, Facebook, and then I'm like, JK, I deactivated that today for the first time in over 10 years. I was like, fuck this, I don't want to keep looking at this, and then and then I'll be like, let me look at Twitter, I'm like, this all makes me feel empty, and then I'll be like, what do I do, and I'm like, well, nothing, nothing will make me feel good, and I feel sad, anyway. Hey, Finite, what a time to walk in. Not great. How are you? <laughs> Come to enjoy solitude too much. Hmm. Facebook will boom boomer. So I have Facebook because I have a uh, family in different countries, and it's the only way I can keep in contact with them. Except now we have WhatsApp, so there's that. Hey, Blah. You stopped using your socials and everything. Just walked away from it. But, like, what do you do instead? <laughs> Great news. You finished the Dyson Sphere program. You harnessed the power of that stupid... Wait, what is that? What? <laughs> you got back from vacation and managed to bring the Rona back with you. Woof. I'm sorry. That sucks. You had a decent Instagram following, too. Shut the door. Fuck that shit. See, I can't get, like, I have, like, a private Instagram account, but, like, and I can't deactivate it because it's attached to my art account, and I do post on that, so then, like, it's just, uh, uh, YouTube and Instagram are the new drug? Nah, bro, that's TikTok, and I fortunately have not gotten into that, um, but I have not gotten into that, so. Hey, social media in general, making a Twitter for this cohort kid killed you a little. I used to love Instagram. I don't anymore. You deactivated all of your social media accounts after you broke up with your girlfriend. I used to like Reddit. Reddit like died. I don't know what happened. I don't know how Reddit died. But like it did. I only created Twitter because of 100 devs. A new clone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. TikToks are just toxic. Yeah. People don't even do that anymore, Born. They just, it's just the reels now. Like, there's no, there's no, like, personal content from your friends anymore. It's just gone. It's just gone. Everyone craves an audience, it seems. What do you think I'm doing here? 
Does that make me sound like a shitty person? But, like, I do like all of you being here. And it's very flattering to me that I have, like, 47 people watching me right now, so. Speaking of, why is this looking so funky? I like to see how many people are watching something. But, like, this is cut off. The little, how many people are watching? Why is it cut off? I don't know. Anyway. Trying to set up her up again a weekend and holy shit, everything is so boring. You started spending so much time on TikTok to make up for the dopamine you're not getting from smoking weed anymore. Woof. You blame Trump for everything bad. I mean, mm, not wrong. Reddit has fallen off. Are you still like it? it what happened like i used to love reddit what happened what are we talking about with clones what is what are we what are you talking about like your pirate person that comes and looks at stuff after two years without social media you feel peace is this social media is this social media Warren says, yep. Captain Jack's one of the clones, as is a water guy, and tomorrow there'll be a new one. Ooh. No, this is education. Is it, though? I don't think I'm educating anyone. We're socializing through video media. You like Snapchat, too? I have never liked Snapchat. It has never made sense to me, and it just, like, irritates me. Because, like, like, there'll be people, like, they'll send pictures, and they're, like, they're, like, they have, like, the face like this, or, like, or, like, and, like, I just don't like sending pictures of me. So, like, I had it very briefly when I was, like, 13, and I would take pictures of, like, my feet or, like, like, the pavement, you know? It's just, like, who even, I don't know. Anyway, I don't like Snapchat at all, but I'm glad you do. <laughs> I don't get why people like it. Anyway, anyway. Woof, big sexy woof. You help by being an E person. <laughs> you think of social media tempted lump in Facebook, Instagram, but you guess Twitch would qualify. Feed pics. <laughs> Not like that. I was like 13. But the point is like just boring shit. I said pavement too. Twitch is a streaming platform, not social media. Is there? Because like YouTube would be the same then, wouldn't it? All right, should we do the thing where we're watching this TypeScript video or whatever? Women crave attention, that's why Instagram is the new drug, bro. Oh, I'm already big face, bro. I think everyone craves, like, attention. I don't think it has to do with being a woman or not. I'm a woman, but I don't think me being like, I like streaming to you has to do with me being a woman. I think it's just me being me, you know? You could, yeah, rascal. They're for sharing things with people, like stupid things that remind me of them. Oh. Attention, connection, the same, but I, like, point is, I don't think it has anything to do with whether you're, like, a woman or not. I don't. I did say it was flattering that 50 people are watching me, but I said that it was flattering because, like, that's my personality. I don't find it flattering because I'm a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I've always liked people paying attention to me. I've always liked, like, I liked acting in school. I liked being, like, a leader. Like, I like being that person. But that's just me. Like, me being me. It's 
validation, you crave acceptance, something that might classify as attention. Maybe. Attention, connection. Like, so, like, I don't know. Like, I don't like people paying, like, too much attention to me, but I do like the connection, too. You know? Ooh, hello. Surprise. Shh, what? Um... The majority of women? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. <laughs> like, this is social media, right? I think the majority of people in chat probably identify as, like, guys. Right? I don't actually know that. If that's not the case, then you can totally be like, nah. Anyway, my point is I don't think it has anything to do with whether you're a man or a woman or non-binary or literally anything. I think it has to do with your personality, like who you are as a person. And also probably how you were like raised to a certain extent, you know? You don't crave people coming to you, but you crave that when... You come to some, you have their attention. Hmm. Too many people are lazy and say, most people, facts you don't know. Love it anyway. Men craved almond m &M. <laughs> Who's my idol? You know, I know this sounds like bad, but like me. Like I don't really have like an idol person. Yo, how does your name? Is it Fizzle or is it Vile? Anyway, thanks for the sub. I don't, I don't have an idol. I don't know. I don't find anyone particularly, like, inspiring. Just, like, who, who I could be, I think, maybe. Does that make sense? <laughs> maybe birds. I don't know. Matt Bellamy, no. Like, I love Muse's music, but they're, they're not my idol. It's me. Don't be sure. All right. It's blood. <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yes, it's Tom Cruise. Closer person. <laughs> nah, Tom Cruise is a Scientologist, and Scientology is a cult, and I have extremely, extremely negative association with cults. And so, like, it's kind of like a, like a, for me, you know? <laughs> Tim Cook, isn't that the Apple person? No, like, I'm serious. Like, it's, like, I, me, who I could be, that's my idol. The potential. Potential that Rufio has. So Rufio cult. <laughs> Negative association with cults is a good thing. It can hurt people's feelings, though. Tim Apple. <laughs> You had a bad cold experience. The first one you created failed horribly. It's zero sack. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Try to separate people from what they do. So you think Tom is a good actor, but also most ra rappers do shitty stuff, but you can like their music. That makes sense. That makes sense. <sighs> the problem is that, like, like if, like, like, if you're a Scientologist, probably, then you probably associate your personality and who you are as a person very heavily with that. So it's hard, like, if I say I don't like Scientology, then, like, some people hear I don't like you. And that's not true, you know? Can't avoid hurting people's feelings, but I can do my best. You have more fun as a follower. You make more money as a leader. <laughs> Hitler, apart from the killing, it was okay. Nah, nah. We do not, we do not do the Hitler stands here. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I 
Also, if there are Scientologists up in here, me not liking Scientology does not mean I don't like you, okay? Initial impressions on TypeScript is boring. I'm bored. <laughs> the actress Elizabeth Moss is Scientologist, yup. Kind of ironic. You've also never had any idols or heroes. Ever since you remember being asked that question in middle high school, you'd always give the same answer to your parents. So that was just to have someone to turn to. You never felt it. Yeah, like, my parents aren't my idols, you know? My grandparents are my idols. My teachers were never my idols. Just like, you know? I think people are cool, but... It doesn't sound like a good life to avoid hurting feelings at all costs. Well, welcome to my childhood trauma. <laughs> I think that actually is what it is. Like, like I go out of my way to make sure I don't hurt people's feelings. You love science as heck. <laughs> if there are Scientologists up in here, maybe rethink a couple things. I mean, easy to say unless you're in a cult. Like, having been in one, like, it is so hard to get out of it and, like, see what's actually going on tabitha typescript <laughs> just declaring the types i thought it was going to be like earth shaking i don't feel like it is she gave her life trying to bring order and strong typing to the chaotic lines of javascript one day i'm going to be like, fuck it. I don't care about your feelings. Let me tell you, it feels so good. You know, there's this one time that I, in theory, in theory did weed, okay? And I was with my friend, theoretically, and we were playing a game. I think I said this before, but, like, apparently who I theoretically am when I'm high is an asshole. I'm so mean. So, like, normally if someone sucks at something, I'm not going to say anything because, like, what? Do, why would that be a good thing to say? But she's, like, playing this game. She's like, well, I suck at this. I'm like, bitch, yeah, you do. You know, like, and I could not even like, even when I was saying, I was like, wow, this is mean. But when I was theoretically high, I didn't care. And then the next day I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe, I'm so sorry. And my friend's like, huh, lol, it was just funny. Anyway. Maybe that's why you have zero friends. You've heard too many feelings. I don't know. What do you miss for the first half of the stream? Uh, TypeScript. Pizza is your idol, to be honest. Can't deny it anymore. Okay. If that's where we're going, then actually me too, because pizza's God. In theory, yeah, theoretically, if I did the weed. <laughs> Am I high right now? No. No. Just high on mm, apathy. <laughs> Am I the oldest child? No. I'm number six out of seven. People get hurt by shit like that, then there's snowflakes. But I feel like snowflakes is such a mean thing to say. Like, I feel like people should be able to, like, like, be upset by, I don't know, you know? What if pizza was one of us? And I guess it would be one of you. Why am I being so mean to TypeScript? I don't know. I don't know. It's created out of love by a megacorp. <laughs> Okay, we sort of got maybe mostly in through this. Or into our HTML uh, so that we can interact with the DOM. So in the body, we're just going to write some simple uh, HTML here. We're going to add a form. This is not going to... code stacker. To have an action inside the form, we're going to have an input and it's going to have a name of name and then ID of name. We'll have an input that is a number and that's going to say age and age as the ID. And then another input that is going to be a submit, and we'll say, say hi. Now, after the form, we're going to have a div hi. class of greeting. Whoops. Greeting. Just like that. All right, right that's all the HTML. We're not going to add any CSS uh, and style this. This is just an example. That so now we need to Ugh. get our Oof. inputs. So what we're going to say, const input name is going to equal document dot query selector, and we're going to get the ID of oh name. Oh, my God, I zoned out. Okay, so wait a second. Our inputs. So what we're going to say, const input name going to equal document dot query selector and we're going to get the id of name now if we hover over this typescript is going to tell us that this is a type of element or null so it knows that it is some type of document element 
uh, but it doesn't actually know if the element exists. It doesn't have access to the HTML file. So that's going to come into play a little bit later. Just remember that it could be null, but it is of type element. So if we go down here and we say input name, and we want to get the value of the input. So value, and we can see that it's not popping up as a selector here. I uh, zoned so out again. Oh my God, Rufio, Rufio. More fun than speaking quicker, you right. He's not using a UI framework in this day and age. If this is supposed to be from, like, what's it called? The, from scratch or whatever. Cascadia font is the best font. I don't even know Cascadia font. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So it knows that it is some type of document element. But it doesn't actually know if the element exists. It doesn't have access to the HTML file. So that's going to come into play a little bit later. Just remember that it could be null, but it is of type element. So if we go down here and we say input name, and we want to get the value of the input. So value, and we can see that it's not popping up as a selector here. Uh, so IntelliSense isn't really working that well right now because it doesn't actually know that it's an input. So if we go up here and we change this from the ID of name to an input, and now we hover over it, we can see that it is of type HTML input element. So that's what we want it to be. So now let's change this back to name as we're going to say HTML input element. So now if we hover over this, we can see HTML input element. That's the proper type. And now if we try to get the value, we can see IntelliSense is helping us out and we can actually select the value. And we can see how when we set this up properly and we declare things properly, IntelliSense is going to help us out and it's just going to make our development lives so much easier. So let's get the input age now. So we'll say input age is going to equal document.query selector. And that was age. And this is also going to be an HTML input element, right? We also need to get the form. So we'll Seems say overly complicated. Because we need to know when the form is being submitted. So we'll say document.query selector. And then that was a form. And now because this is just a form tag, TypeScript knows that this is an HTML form element. So we don't have to typecast it. Again, I think I forgot to mention, this is called typecasting. And then the last thing that we need to get is the greeting div. So we'll say greeting going to equal document.query selector. And then that was a class of greeting. Okay, so now this is going to see this as an element, um, but we do need it to know that it's a div element. We're gonna leave it like this for now and we're gonna come back to it and fix it later because I want you to see why we need to typecast this as a div element. Dragon is less material, but more in depth. I never heard of electric cowboy. Tunnel vision goggles. <laughs> like it. Query selector is generic and takes a type. He didn't explain what he used as. People may just litter their code base with as statements just to silence the warnings. It's called typecasting. Oh, and also, sh you should rarely ever do this. In fact, forget I mentioned it for now. <gasps> So now instead of getting or setting the person element uh, manually, we're going to get that from the form. So we need to add an event listener on the form. So we're going to say input form, uh, add event listener, and we're going to listen for the submit event. And then we're going to have an arrow function. All right. So now it has this like question mark dot event listener because it's not quite sure uh, if this form is actually there. So it's kind of doing a little check to see if the form is there. If we got rid of that, then we're going to get this little squiggly saying that it's possibly null. We don't actually know if it's there. So in order to fix that, we could again add that question mark here, or we could go up here. And on this form at the end, we can add an exclamation mark. So that's going to tell TypeScript that this form is actually there. You don't have to worry about it. So now on submit, we want to get the input values and then use the class to return our greeting string. And then we're going to display that string on the page. So back in our event listener, we do need to get our event because we need to say e.prevent default uh, because we don't want, uh, when we submit the form, the default behavior is for the page to refresh. And we want to prevent that page refresh. So now we're going to get a const of person and say equal to a new person. And we're going to add the input name dot value and the input age dot value. Now you would think that input age dot value uh, would be a number, right? Because if we go back to HTML, the input type is number. Now if we go back here and we hover over this, we're going to see that it is actually a string. Mm -hmm. And that is true. The input is of the type number, but it actually returns a string with a number in it. So for this instance, instead of value, we need value as number. And that will clear up all of the issues. Well, why wasn't right, it so fixed now, in the first we need to add place? This uh, greeting. So we're going to call this greeting method. 
we're going to add that into our greeting HTML element. So we're going to say greeting dot inner text. So notice here that it doesn't find inner text. And that is because remember, we said we needed to know that this is a div element. So if we change this out to a div and then hover over this, we can see that it is HTML div element is the proper type. All right, so let's undo that. We're going to say as a This just escalated. I kind of like lost it. Hey Dom, welcome. I'm I've been doing better. I hope you're doing well though. Use a simpler node based app. Typecasting it later. Videos too are all over the place. The exclamation point. I even lost what that was. I don't even notice. Trying too hard to pay attention to a video that's more or less engaging. Yeah, I just got lost at the end there. I just got lost. Big size, he hates the video. He did, he did say at the very beginning that you should have a solid base in JavaScript. Yeah, you right, Lark. It was like, yes, and this is type, but you don't have to do that. And this is type, but you don't have to do that. And then here's everything else, and okay, yeah. Then eat, Born. We're going to finish it, though. Even if we're getting lots of hate for it. HTML div element. And now when we go down here, we can see inner text is an option now. So now inner text is going to equal person.greet. All right, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to say input form and put form dot reset. Okay, so we just want to reset and clear out the input values whenever we submit. So that should be it. We don't have any red squigglies. And now one last thing that I want to show you is again, we, we need to run TSC again to recompile this. But let's say that you're working on TypeScript a lot and you don't want to keep hitting TSC every single time you, you save and you want to test something. So we can actually say TSC dash W and that's going to watch all of our TypeScript files and automatically recompile them every time we hit save. Oh, right, so we'll node watch. one. And now if we go up here and we hit save again, you can see that it has recompiled again. So let's go back to our website. Okay, so we have two inputs. We can have our name and we have our age. So we'll say name oh. and age, and then we can click <laughs> say name. hi, and we get hi, my name is Jesse, and I am 35. And it clears the form, Magic. we can fill it in again. We can say Mary is 25, and now we get that. So it's working perfectly. Oh. Right, next, we're gonna look at generic. So sometimes there may be instances when you don't know exactly what type something might be. And so... Do I have a project I've made using JavaScript that I can remake using TypeScript? Probably. Added types to the dictionary app. Could. Could do it. You missed a weird video you finished avatars in a future reference. I just like to finish things. Like I like if like I hate a book, I will finish the book because I want to be like, I read that whole book, you know? I have to I have to message you about that, Peter. I'm so behind. I'm sorry. Rename all JavaScript to TypeScript and throw any and everywhere. <laughs> Let you age to watch that video. <laughs> you would start a TypeScript project fresh instead of converting it. Are you streaming born? You're determined to become my best friend now. <laughs> of, of, oh, I can't say words. Unfortunately, best friends are too draining, but like we're friends. You're never going to get invited to co-stream? Well, what do you want to do co-streaming? Generally, we have uh, other people who do the streaming. Stream by telephone. <laughs> I never even did tic-tac-toe in regular JavaScript, I'll be honest with you. I'm learning TypeScript, damn it. We're going to look at a generic and a function oh, wow. first. So we'll say function, do something. Hey, Ryan, and that's going to have an argument here. And then we're just going to you know, do something and then return our argument. So this is a normal function that would work just fine. Now it wants us to tell it what kind of 
um, argument this is. So let's say we, we call do something and we're going to pass it a string, right? Um, maybe sometimes we might pass it a number. You know, we're not quite sure what we're going to pass it. So we can't really define what it is here. So to do that, we're going to say t. And then we're going to say the argument is t. So and this can be anything. You could say x. You can, you can put whatever you want here. Uh, generally, you're going to see an uppercase t here. Um, but basically, this is a placeholder. So whatever we pass into this placeholder is going to get pushed on to the type here. And we can even say that we're going to return t, right? We can do all of this. And if we hover over this, it's going to show us exactly that. And now when we pass a, a number in here, it's working just fine. If we pass a string, it's going to work just fine as well because what? it's going to say that it is a string. So if we hover over this, we can see that a string is being passed into all of those types. If we change this back to a number, now a number is being passed. Now we can specifically say that here as well. We could say... Did I go to university with developing? Nah. Explanation point 100 devs. Uh, I went to 100 devs. Full stack, JavaScript, bootcamp and agency, agency and bootcamp. Free dollars. It's free. TypeScript makes you sad because you're bad at it. I haven't even got to that point. I don't understand it well enough to get there. <laughs> But that means I have to read it, and I'm even worse about reading things than I am at watching them born. Would I rather null or undefined? I don't know. I just don't understand what we're doing here. It's one, it's one paragraph, okay. I never even read eloquent JavaScript. I was always supposed to, but I never did. Chessboard? Oh, we did that. Wait, how is this related to what we're doing? You troll. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Learn Java for interviews, bro. I can't even do I can't even do JavaScript well. string needs to be passed, but we're passing a number, so that's going to fail. So we change this into a string, and now it passes. We can also uh, use this with interfaces. So let's go down here. We could say interface book, and the book needs to have an ID, which is going to be a number, and it needs to have a name, which is going to be a string, and it needs to have some data, which we're not quite sure what the data is going to be. It could be lots of different things. So in order to pass this option up here on book, again, we're going to say T, and then we can pass this T here as the type. So then when we go down, we can say const a book is going to be a book and it's going to equal an ID of one name is going to be title one. And then data is going to be, let's say it's a string this time. So more data here. So we need to tell it that this is a string. So we'll say right here, we're going to say, you know, honestly, like there will come a point sometimes where like, I'm like learning something and then like they'll lose me and then like they've lost me he's lost me like i'm lost i don't know what he's talking about and i can't even pay attention anymore so i'm not going to <laughs> say if you learn java you'll always have a job there's just too much to learn all the time here i thought i was supposed to be learning the typescript and i started learning typescript and then a bunch of people were like why the fuck are you learning typescript and i'm just like bro i don't know i just thought i was supposed to do it and now i'm learning it and i'm like ew what is this anyway i'm not feeling good <laughs> only way to get better at this is building something you right hey Leah. Generics are too much for day one, TS. Am I s familiar with what assembly language is? No. Learn get the language of the god. <laughs> you have a 70% chance that whatever company you work for is TypeScript. 
Hundred percent use Git. I learned to Git. <sighs> well, 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 well. What I got from that was that uh, TypeScript does stuff with types, and it's like this is very important that we strongly define all of this, but also it's like implicitly defined. Defined, but also you can like explicitly define it, but like also you don't need to, but also like you should. But like TypeScript is types, and like they're types, you know, types. <laughs> the professional dev for a while now is honestly so disheartening. How much new shit there's to turn learn. How much the ecosystem is constantly churning. Three git commands is not git. I know five. I'm not taking notes or anything. That's not going to get confusing later. Okay, but I never read my notes anyway. An experienced person trying to teach you like with anything it takes time. You learn more coming across errors trying to actually use TypeScript and Googling them. You don't say this often, but trust me. That said, all new companies you've been looking at have TypeScript as a requirement. I think I did a pretty, pretty good summary, honestly. Oh my god, what is this, Born? Ew. Yuck. Gross. Oh no. Oh, I understand what it is now. Oh no. That's what I have to say about that. Oh no. Front end development is learning new shit every few months. Soon React and new framework will come. Don't think you've ever read any of your notes. Hey, drag code. You don't have to be a master of TypeScript. You really don't. You're going to have help. What if I, like, what if I just do, like, an interview, and they're like, okay, so tell me about TypeScript. I'm like, well, TypeScript has types, you see, and you can explicitly define them, but you can implicitly define them, so they're types, you know, lots of types. Tuples. Yeah, there you go. Generic. I don't even know what that means, but. We got some not beginners in here, and that's okay. Yeah, so, cool, thanks, nice, cute. <laughs> Heavy sigh. It's okay, we will, we will, we will, we will do more with the TypeScripts. I'm thinking, yes, we will. You can, just like you did, just know you know a TypeScript. It's good to know, but not necessary. Do open source for fun? I don't have enough time. No, I do. But, like, it's too much effort. Start with the super basic strings. Now we're Booleans. Everything else, slowly learn it. Excuse me. I said yawn. Yawn. <laughs> Apparently, data and algorithms are end, be all end all. Yeah, end all be all. Yeah, that's what I hear too, and it makes me mad. I'm anger. Do AQs and TypeScript? Will it? The University of Utah is looking for web dev. Really? So Witcher? <laughs> I mean, we could, but. Is a TypeScript option in Code Wars? You have to wait for something which is you didn't understand. Okay. And no problem. How many of my interviews have I asked? Zero. They've asked did zero. Yep, zero. I don't know about the job postings, but You can teach me TypeScript. Really got to stop looking on the side screen. I was thinking, what if...
TypeScript shows better understanding of JavaScript. Honestly, my understanding of JavaScript is not the best anyway, so. Drank. Oh, no. Wait, I know I do have some gross water left. Okay. Mm. I was looking for a lot. I will look at it. Gross water. Yeah, I was like nauseous as hell earlier. Um, and so I had ginger water and it was just kind of nasty, honestly. Not prioritize learning TypeScript. You try to build a for more project with JavaScript and those banky things. So you're saying next time we should do it banky. Am I less nauseous now? Yeah. I guess I needed to eat the cheesesteak. I think that's what fixed me, possibly. Fundamentals. I've been doing this for so long, but yeah, you're right. You're right. I still haven't worked through a lot of... Banky, by the way, is interview questions, technical interview questions. I haven't done most of them, so... So you're saying this is the only, only, um, only, um, TypeScript episode of the stream we'll have? <laughs> episode. Pivot! How to read TypeScript? Hmm. That makes sense. If you look at your heart of hearts and you really love the types, you can continue learning TypeScript. Honestly, I think this is boring. You right, Leah. You right. My feet are so cold. It's almost 3 a.m. Sleep well at us. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, you right, Token. Leah, you like, I, I'm like shook. I'm like, how did, how does Leah know so much? More code pairing streams. Good. Let the hate flow, flow through you. Crack awesome. <laughs> I am wearing socks. Yes, it's so cold though. If you can read VS code, autocomplete hovers, you already know how to read a bit of TypeScript. Hmm. So, what I'm thinking is that I know we haven't been streaming for that long, but we're going to wrap up stream because I still am a drained girl, even though I'm less drained than when we started. But then, and then, and then we probably do the streaming the later this week. And I just got to figure that out because I got to respond to people and I just haven't responded to people and I just got to do that, you know. But honestly, instead of responding to people, I'll probably just go lay on my bed. <laughs> Or maybe I should eat dinner. Oh yeah, I've eaten veggies today and a cheese stick and that's about it. I was going to say, have I only eaten a cheese stick today? No, I ate more than that. <laughs> Go touch some fucking grass. <laughs> or find, see if the baby quails that live in my backyard still are existing and alive. Respond to what? People. Thanks, Interplanet. Who should we raid? Um, that one person that we raided the other week, the Hacker X, we could raid them. They were so cute when we raided them. It was, like, adorable. Yeah. Making chess. It was... They were so... <laughs> There was a, a tweet for what? Oh, how do I get a response from me? Well, I have to have a mentally, my, my brain has to do it, but Discord, Twitter, I check those more. So, 
So are we raiding Hacker X? Were you there last time, y'all? When we were raiding Hacker X, they were just so cute. They were so excited. It was some good vibes, some some positive vibes. Oh, Rascal's already over there. All right. Shh, so loud. Okay. Don't tell them we're coming in. Don't tell them, okay? Yeah. I'm leaving because I have so much bandwidth and we're almost at the end of it. But thank you for hanging out. It actually made me feel a lot better to hang out with y'all today. So thank you for being here while we watch a questionable type script video. <laughs> And then I will probably will do the streaming on the on the Thursday again. I think maybe probably definitely maybe I don't know. <laughs> Thank you all. I appreciate it. All right, let's go spread some love to our friend. They're so cute. They're so happy when they read them. So let's go do that. It will be a good time. All right, you're not leaving. Well, I am. So goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I need to work on putting it.